Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Akira. Today I'm going to be doing a review for Godzilla King of the Monsters, guys. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. So to start off with for my pre-rating score, I'm going to say that this movie, Godzilla King of the Monsters, is a good movie, guys. Yes, I actually had a good time watching this movie. I wasn't, uh, I wouldn't say I was, like, super invested. There were times I was a bit zoned out of the film. And we'll talk about that in the negative part of the review. But for the most part, I had a good time. And what's really funny... Is that all three of these movies, I give the same score out of 10. And that's really weird. And my brother actually made a good point about that. Like, every movie, like, for some reason, I, like, if I don't love it, and I don't hear I just give it 7. And he is right. Like, the last three movies, Detective Pikachu, Aladdin, and this movie, well, now you know what I give this movie out of 10. I give all of them a 7. So, yeah. But anyway, guys. Enough of that, let's just jump right into the review guys. So basically the story of this movie, without spoiling much, in case you don't know, in case you haven't seen the trailers. Uh, these monsters are out there, and they want to, you know, kind of reclaim their homeland. And so Godzilla must come out of the uh, waters, uh, uh, literally, literally, and, and you know, as well, literally speaking. And basically take down all these monsters. However, not all of them aren't that bad. If you watch the movie, you know what monster I'm talking about actually teams up with Godzilla in this movie for the final battle, which is awesome. So basically, there's this family drama uh, uh, thrown into the mix, and Monarch's also there, you know, a bunch of other people are there too, and basically, it's all these kind of people, some people are trying to help them, uh, these monsters, I mean, take down these monsters, while some people are trying to help Godzilla take down these monsters, and it's all these different things weaved into one storyline, which I, like I said before, had a good time with. So that's really spoiling uh, the movie in a nutshell. Humans, watching these guys fight, humans trying to stop these guys from fighting, and humans also trying to, you know, kill them all, no that type of stuff. And there are parts in this movie where Godzilla got his ass handed to him at certain parts. And excuse my language for that. What I just said, yes, I had to say that because he did really get his ass hand, handed to him in this movie. My god, Ghidorah, wow, that thing is damn powerful. All right, so enough of that. Let's get on to the positive. So, obviously, when you come to these movies, you look for, you're looking forward to one thing, and that's the monster action. And yes, the first major positive easily, easily is the action. The action in this movie is great. I mean, whether it's the monster fights, whether it's the monster and human fights, or even when. There's like smaller down to earth like fights as well. Like the shootout stuff I thought was actually pretty interesting too. And pretty suspenseful. And I like that type of stuff. Like it keeps you at the edge of your seat at times. And then suddenly, it's, and then suddenly bam, something comes out of nowhere. I, that movie had a couple of moments. But the action in this movie was amazing. Probably the best part of this movie was the action. I loved the action of this movie so much. And the final battle. Oh my god. Probably my second favorite final battle of the year, without a doubt, for sure, just behind Endgame. But Endgame, that's on a whole nother level, so easily the action is a great positive of this movie. Next up, the creature designs. I love the creature designs. Yes, I know it's a very small positive, not a big thing, but I have to say that the way they all look, Mothra, Rodan, King Ghidorah, and of course Godzilla, you know, they all look amazing and all that type of stuff, but... As someone who hasn't seen the old Godzilla film, but someone who's a fan of this so-called monsterverse, not King Kong Godzilla verse, as a normal person might call it, um, it's great to see how they look. And Godzilla has never looked better. I mean, in 2014, he looked like like a freaking giant, like a beast. But in this movie, he still looks the same. He looks amazing, and all that type of stuff. There's an interesting line someone says, which I won't spoil. It's to do with, uh. Uh, Godzilla's like physical strength and I thought that line was actually kind of funny now to think about it so yeah So yeah, but the creature designs were awesome. I love them. Mothra looks like a freaking uh, moth come to life King Ghidorah's just a beast as it, Like what can you say about them? They're awesome. Rodan is awesome. Probably my least favorite monster in this movie is Rodan uh, Because we didn't actually get that much of Rodan uh, someone actually pointed out, actually Jeremy John said we don't get much of Mothra and Rodan, I disagree. I think we got enough Mothra, for my opinion, in my opinion. Rodan could have had a bit more, so yeah. But I still loved how they looked. And, and finally, for positives, that was good acting. For me, in my opinion, I thought the acting in this movie was good. I was going to write some good acting, but now that I think of it, all the performances in this movie was fine. Like, everyone gave what they had to give for this movie, whether it's the humor, 
what is the serious moments, the intense moments, the drama. I thought this movie had good acting. It wasn't like the best acting in the world. It wasn't like Endgame level acting at certain times, but still. It, it was, there was some good solid acting in this movie, guys, yeah. Alright, now we have to unfortunately get onto the negatives, guys. You probably saw this coming already, but there are problems with this movie, guys. So, first major problem that I found is that they could have had more human drama. Yes, this movie had great human drama, especially with family. This one family that was involved, which involves Millie Bobby Brown's character, Kyle Chandler's character, and Vera Farmiga's character. And those three of them are all uh, one family. And uh, they're kind of spread apart in different parts of the movie. I won't spoil what happens to uh, any of them in certain parts of the movie. But you just have to watch it. It was kind of interesting how it all played out. But I wish there was more fam... Uh, not family drama, more human drama with the other characters as well. Like there's this one character who I just found out. The actor's name is Charles Stans. He, in this movie, I wish that was more of his character. Like his character was like there for like a quarter of the movie. I wish there was more screen time for him because we could have had more of that. And they could have had more layers for certain characters, yeah. Also, not a negative, it was a bit boring at times. There was just a bit too much exposition. I wish they would just get rid of that and just jump right into it. Some parts could have easily be cut out, trimmed out. But overall, like I said, I didn't enjoy myself. And finally, it was a bit cliche. You probably also saw this coming too. But hey, it's a monster movie. What do you expect? There are times uh, where, like, some people talking like come with me do this do that and it felt like we've seen this before it wasn't to do with the monsters it was to do with what they were talking about and it was that type of stuff i'm not saying the monster action was cliched and like them watching you know type of stuff but it was like i don't know stuff to do with the like getting ready for battle order type of stuff those lines are a bit cliched but what can you say guys? So overall to wrap things up as a final score i'm going to give godzilla king of the monsters a 7 out of 10 um, yes, yeah, so like I said, guys, I did enjoy myself watching this movie. Next week, I will be checking out Dark Phoenix. Yes, another movie after another movie. It's gonna get a lot more crazy for this, guys. By the way, out of all the summer movies I've seen so, ma so far this year, or this month, uh, this is probably my favorite one. It is better than Aladdin, and it is better than Pikachu, Detective Pikachu. Although, Detective Pikachu, I do think is better than Aladdin, and I do think... And yes, I obviously do think Endgame is better than all those movies as well. But Endgame is still my favorite movie. This is, I don't know if it's going to be my favorite movie. We'll see how the year goes and turns out. But anyway, guys, what do you think of Godzilla King the Monsters? Tell me in the comments below. And yeah, go have fun this movie. Don't forget to like this video. And like I said, comment down below. Tell me, are you going to watch this movie? Are you going to see this? Uh, uh, did you like this movie? Did you hate this movie? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Comic Director. Thank you. Thanks for watching guys, my name is Akil and I'm signing out.